What's up, it's Alex or Nuzness here. Recently, I've been thinking about my goals in life, what I want to experience, and kind of got intrigued with the idea of making a bucket list, which for the unfamiliar is essentially a list of experiences or achievements that a person hopes to accomplish. Sort of like a one day I hope I get to experience or achieve X. Then as my mind works, of course, I start to think about how this bucket list would look well in RuneScape. Now in this video, I'm gonna share with you and talk about my RuneScape bucket list, what I'm doing to achieve those goals, to hopefully give you some inspiration, but also I want to hear from you about your bucket list and let's see if we have anything in common. I honestly think this is a great way to get myself and maybe give you a little more motivation and get more excited about RuneScape and to try some things that you maybe wouldn't have before. All right, now for my list. Now, the number one thing on my bucket list is for you to subscribe. So over 70% of you are keeping my bucket list from being completed, so smash that subscribe button for your boy. All jokes aside, the number one thing on my bucket list is actually a party hat. It's been my goal since I was a little kid playing RuneScape, and it's something that I've been working on for the past two years in my Road to Party at series, and it's basically the thing that created this channel. And while this is an extremely long-term goal, it is something that has kept me motivated and excited to play RuneScape, and while sometimes it felt very daunting, I'm now making real huge progress towards this, and you'll see this soon in the next few episodes of my series, but I think having a giant long-term goal like this is very beneficial, as it kind of keeps this big goal there in the back of your head and gives you a little bit of motivation every day, sort of like the goal of owning a big house one day or the car of your dreams. It may take quite a while to get there and it may be kind of out there, but having that there is a reminder and it makes the game just a little bit more fun. Now the second thing on my bucket list is actually something that I have done quite a bit of, but I actually haven't revisited it much recently and it's something that this list made me realize I probably should get to grinding, and that is the Revenant Dragon Pet. Now this pet is one that I've wanted for years and years. Revenants, as you know if you watch this channel, have been a piece of content in RuneScape that I have loved even since pre-EOC. The danger of going and killing monsters to potentially get either nothing or a big drop has always kept me invested, seeing how the loot has evolved over time. Back in the day, Vesta's longsword used to be the huge drop you wanted because it was great for PKing. Now it's the Stadius Warhammer for PVM. And as of now, I've done tens of thousands of Revenant kills, gotten every Reverend drop multiple times, and I'm actually very close to getting the Revenant Dragon Pet. Now if you don't know when killing Revenants, you get Revenant Spirits, which unlock the Revenant Pet. However, there are actually 14 Revenant Pets, which means you need to get the Revenant Spirit drop 14 times to get the Revenant Dragon, and it gets more rare as you get more pets, so your first pet is going to be the most common, while your last and 14th pet is extremely rare, and of course the last pet is the Revenant Dragon which I just feel is one of the best looking pets in the game. It's also part of a piece of content that I have loved for so long, so that is a pet that I really hope to get sometime soon, especially now with the wilderness essentially being safe, so really, I have no excuse to not go and grind out the last few pets that I need. Now this next thing on my bucket list is kind of weird, and I'm not sure if I'm ever gonna do it, but it's something that I do want to do, and that is kind of complete all mini games in RuneScape 3, Mini games are something that I have loved in RuneScape for so long, and in RuneScape 3, it's safe to say they're kind of dead. I've done videos looking into this before. Mini games are mostly dead. There are some that are a little active, but it's nothing like it used to be. Uh, I love basically all mini games. Like I would play Gnome Restaurant, Mage Training Arena, Pyramid Plunder, um, Vine Sweeper, even. Mini games is something Castle Wars, like. Um, there's so many mini games in RuneScape 3. I used to play Soul Wars. Uh, I actually didn't mind playing Pest Control. It's something that I really like about old school that mini games are pretty useful compared to RuneScape 3. And uh, something I do want to do is go and kind of complete all the achievements, I guess, related to these mini games, if there even are that many. Uh, I do wish, and this is kind of what I wanted to say about mini games in general and why this is on my bucket list. I wish Jagex would add something in that was kind of like a collection log for other types of content. I know Old School has this. So like, let's say the Mage Arena, there would be a collection log for getting all the rewards from that. 
um, and other mini games. I think it would motivate people to play the mini games because there's actually a reason because you want to complete those collection logs. Maybe have a title like Master of Mini Games or something. I don't think it would be very hard to implement and I think it would kind of at least revitalize them a little bit for the people that uh, wanted to go for those logs. But that is something, you know, trying to kind of complete every mini game. Uh, just because I love them so much would be uh, something that I definitely, definitely uh, would like to get to at some point on my bucket list. But uh, maybe, just maybe, they'll do an update like that where I can have, you know, an actual log or title or something to go for. Now the next one is actually a reward that is a goal that I'm not sure again if this will ever happen because a lot of these are more up to RNG, but to get a third age Druidic piece from Elite Clues, now I have gotten third age from Hard Clues, but third age Druidic is just something that uh, has been with me for a long time, has been something that I always dreamed about kind of getting uh, back in the day, the uh, Third Age Druidic Wreath, I believe, or maybe it was the cape was insanely expensive. And even though Third Age is more old, like from Hard Clues, Third Age Druidic has always been the thing that I liked the most and that was kind of very nostalgic for me. So being able to get a Third Age Druidic piece from Elite Clues would be amazing. However, uh, sadly, Elite Clues are probably my least favorite clue just because of all the puzzle boxes and I don't really enjoy the uh, arrow clues and scan clues as much as I do like hards and masters uh, so it is something that uh, I kind of don't enjoy doing the clues as much as I do kind of the nostalgia of the rewards from elite clues but again it is a bucket list this is a far out there goal so maybe one day I'll be able to get 30 age druidic I know there's a ton of huge drops in runescape and I'm curious what you guys think is your big drop drop or super rare RNG drop that you don't know if you'll ever get but you hope to get one day, uh, Third Age Druidic is definitely mine. Now speaking of achievements, like I mentioned that I wish there were more collection logs for like mini games, another thing on my bucket list actually has to do kind of with achievements and that is rune score. Now if you don't know, RuneScape has these little achievements or tasks that you can do and every one you do you gain a bit of rune score, which is really just kind of an imaginary score that you can gain, however getting it up you can actually get the rune score pet. But this pet is unlocked at 5,000 rune score. Now the maximum rune score you can get is 30,630 and there's 3,191 achievements. So this is something that I've thought about for a while. I've touched on it in other videos for like big runescape goals, but I think this would be really cool to go for some of the weirder achievements and see how high I can get the score. Um, I did do a video a while back where uh, one of the tasks was to actually kill a Raxor in bronze, which which was really fun and I ended up completing it. The only thing I wish is maybe for the the combat related tasks there were kind of more rewards possibly um, or things that you can get rather than just a pet. Maybe for each tier of rune score there was kind of a track so if you got to 5,000 you got the pet, 10,000 you get this reward, 15,000 you get a different reward. Rewards are very simple things that can be added to runescape to kind of just spice up content and make people want to do it when they normally wouldn't. But yeah still max rune score while it might be very hard to do or maybe even impossible because some of the rune scores I think you have to like uh, be at a mods drop party or like interact with a mod uh, there are a lot of really crazy ones so uh, not sure if I'll ever get max but I do want to go maybe for like 30,000 which is close to max but yeah this one is definitely on the bucket list although kind of one of maybe the more out there ones. And finally, one of the last things on my bucket list, which again is one of those RNG drops, but hey, bucket lists are all about trying to achieve some of the hardest or impossible things, and that is to get a hero item as a drop. Now, hero items are the items like the Hazelmere Signet Ring, Orlando Smith's hat, Tavia's Rod, and Guildmaster Tony's Matic. These are all items that are extremely rare, but I think the rush of getting one of these items would be insane. They're some of the most expensive items you can get in the game. Uh, all of them, I think, going for over max cash. Uh, so getting one of these, while extremely rare, is something that uh, I really want to know the feeling of getting, and I really want to potentially hunt for one of them, possibly the Matic or the Orlando Smith's hat, I would say are the two more likely, as Hazelmere's 
Signet Ring and Tavia's Rod is a bit more of, you can't really farm for it per se, you kind of just have to get lucky. But for the other two, you know, I can farm Master Clues or I can farm Tetra Compasses and hopefully get one of those. So this is one that, you know, I'm not sure when or if it will ever happen, but it's something that I really, really would like to experience. And then the last one, which is something that is very hard, and that is getting a golden bossing title. So either Golden Warden, Golden Glacier, or the Golden Zamrock titles. Uh, those are done by getting 4,000% Enrage at one of those bosses. Now, right now, I have the 500% Telos title and the 500% Zamrock title, but I do have the Silver Iceborne title from doing Glacier at 2,000%. Uh, so going up to 4,000 at any one of these bosses is extremely hard and much harder than getting the 2000% but this is something that I would like to do one day uh, is to get one of these because it kind of shows like you did the boss at the highest basically hardest in rage you could I mean I guess not Zamrock since it can keep going up and up but for Telos and Arch Glacier you did the boss at the hardest possible in rage and uh, I mean it's a gold title and it's some of the probably rarest PVM titles in the game other than like Golden Reaper so it's definitely uh, fitting to be last on my bucket list. So let me know below. Make sure you leave a like if you like this idea, like the idea of kind of making a bucket list for RuneScape, but comment your bucket list below. What are maybe the five or 10 things that you want to achieve in RuneScape over the next however many years? What is your super long-term goals? Maybe you've achieved some of these things. Maybe they're simple, like my bucket list is just to, uh, I don't know, play a bunch of games of Castle Wars because I love Castle Wars. Let me know below. And yeah, I thought this was super fun to do and it actually motivates me more to even go after some of these and, and try to get them done so hopefully in future videos uh, you can see that so i'll see you guys in the next one